Okay, over here to the right, we have a graph of this function. Uh, that's the red curves. And we've sketched in the vertical asymptote. And it looks like there's two horizontal asymptotes. Uh, the question is, how do we find them? Well, the vertical asymptotes occur when the denominator equals zero, in other words, or when the denominator is undefined. So we want to know when does x to, e to the x minus 5 equals zero. We solve that by uh, adding 5 to both sides and then taking the natural log of both sides to isolate that exponent. Uh, the natural log of e is just 1. So x equals the log of 5, ln of 5. So that's what this line is right here, the vertical asymptote. There's the vertical line, x equals the natural log of 5. Um, for the horizontal asymptotes, we have to ask the question, what is the limit as x approaches infinity of this expression or this function? And we also have to ask the limit, question, what's the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the same thing? Now, frequently for rational functions, uh, the limits in both directions will be the same, but it turns out they're not the same uh, for this function involving e to the x. If I divide numerator and denominator of this for this first limit by e to the x, uh, I get 2 over 1 minus 5 over e to the x. And as x approaches infinity, this fraction right here approaches 0 because e to the x itself approaches infinity as x approaches infinity. So that's this horizontal asymptote right here. As x gets bigger and bigger, this red graph gets closer and closer to the line y equals 2. Now, when x is approaching negative infinity, one technique to make it easier to see what's happening is to replace that negative infinity with positive infinity and replace each of the x's with the opposite of x, which is what I've done here. And then re rewrite the function with positive exponents. So... 2 e to the minus x is 2 e to, over e to the x, and e to the minus x is 1 over e to the x. Uh, you could stop right here if you wanted to and realize that this numerator approaches 0 as x gets bigger and bigger, because it's like 2 over infinity. So this is a 0, and uh, this approach is 0, so we are approaching 0 over negative 5, which is 0. If you want to see it a little bit differently, you could simplify this complex fraction by multiplying numerator and denominator by e to the x, and the new numerator would become a 2. 1 over e to the x would become a 1 minus 5 e to the x, and this is an e. And then as x gets bigger and bigger, this term right here approaches infinity, negative infinity, actually. And we get 2 over infinity, which is 0. And that's this horizontal asymptote right here, the line y equals 0. Of course, the graph only approaches that horizontal asymptote asymptotically as x approaches negative infinity. So you've got two horizontal asymptotes, one vertical asymptote. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.